хочешь сделать ремонт как про... Hello guys, we will start in one minute. I need to set up our chat and check all moments. I'll be back soon. Okay guys, here is Lelouch, my name is Sergey Panin, aka Lelouch, and today is second stream about Art Station Beyond Challenge Environment Modeling. Um, I am setting up uh, chat and all moments right now, it will not take a lot of time, uh, scene is downloading right now, so we will start right. In a few minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. I need to set up chat and we'll be ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, open reference. And that's all. Okay. I need to check my art station challenge profile challenges okay stream has started it's great so we don't have any problems uh scene is opening right now we need uh a little bit more so let's talk uh a little bit uh, what I'm planning to do now and uh, how is it going? I need to open my theme. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. And we need this one. And my scene is opened. I don't know why it's haven't saved uh, lighting information but okay uh, that's how it's looking right now uh, as you remember last time we working on this one I have worked a little bit on this one but not so much uh, well mostly I spent almost one day reworking uh, size of the street because in one moment I understand that I have problem with scale because on from this from this side uh, on concept you see only three floors and metal this one metal part it's hard to show it to you well I know how uh, I will add directional light somewhere in, somewhere here it will help oh sorry mate you need to go back You are <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, it's it's better a little bit. Be here, please. Uh, okay. Uh, from concept, you see, hmm, we have some problems. Well, it's not. So no, I need to fix this. Yeah, 
better. Uh, so that's from this side I have problem with scale because uh, in my previous scene I have seen five floors and now I see only three and this was very important. Uh, so I have changed this one and now I like it much more. So I have worked with textures a little bit, uh, mostly I have changed this one. Mm, I don't term I have textured this one. Wait a second. The, as you see, I have still some problems. Nothing too important, but I'm moving uh, assets a lot every time because I'm still doing blackout job. It's not very good. Uh, you see, I have problems here because I have scaled this, but mostly I am happy with uh, feeling of the scene right now. So, uh, what's important moment right now? Uh, if we will, okay, lit. Uh, if we will start play, uh, we have still see uh, these spline meshes. I don't know why we see them. Um, I have asked uh, Clinton. Uh, about this, I am waiting when he will answer to me. Uh, Clinton, yes. Uh, because, in my opinion, we have not to see this. Uh, this is spline mesh, but we see it and it's not very good. Uh, what else I can say? Well, let's take a look on the concept art. So, we're really close enough. Uh, we have moments about... Oh, and let's me... I played with camera a lot. I have, I have tried to found frame mostly four hours or five, six hours. I have play, I will just show you. Uh, this was the first time. Uh, this was second. And with each uh, building, I have tried uh, five, ten variation uh, to find something good in us. And uh, I have pl uh, I have tried this one. I have tried this one. This one. This one. This one. And now, right now, I have this. And this is most closely uh, to the concept. Uh, when I'm starting to work, I'm trying to get a uh, concept as close as possible. Uh, I know, and we have uh, two important moments that uh, artists can use a uh, not physical perspective. What I mean that you can have uh, one uh, focal point, two focal point, three focal point. This is uh, the first moment. Uh, another moment that, uh, and you in 3D, you have uh, three point perspective all the time because, uh, well, you have real perspective. So if you will see something like that, you have one point. If you have something, it's it's close uh, to one point perspective. If you will see something like that, you have uh, one point. If something like that, you have I think two point perspective. If we will, yes. If we look on something like that, and if you look something like that, you can have three point perspective. So uh, it's always count on uh, position of player, and that's why it's uh, hard to understand where, uh, what type of perspective you have. Uh, another important moment. Uh, let me check. Okay, I have posted. Uh, and YouTube is going, uh, good game is going, great. Uh, so, this is one moment. Another point, we don't know what uh, position of player, of eyes of the player we have. Maybe he's looking from here, from here, from here, maybe he's looking from here. So, a lot of uh, moments that you don't know and that you have to understand how to play with camera better. And with uh, simple, uh, same assets, uh, this perspective will uh, give another feeling than this perspective and dimensions a lot of time uh, with changing only what is not changing in this moment uh, proportions and this is the most important part that you have to understand uh, well how I understand that all is good for example I t uh, see that my human it's about one meter uh, 70 centimeters and if I will count this with window they are pretty same so on concept if I will take a uh, same uh, position for example this uh, woman and this uh, window this woman is about one meter 60 centimeters and if we count 
it's with this window we can understand that it's the same size so it's good if this something same size size something like that i hope you understand what i have to what i want to say so uh i have created an, uh, another spline meshes i have play created with light uh as you can see i have added a lot of fake lighting and i'm still working on this moment i'm not pretty happy uh a lot of to do so we'll continue right now and i have planned what i want to do today well uh, i will start from maybe not very interesting but very important part uh this is uh doing this uh asset because uh, it's really important. Uh, this uh, scene is feeling like it's feeling right now only because of lighting. And this, uh, uh, how to say, advertisement, it would uh, play this role too much. So I have to recreate some of them because, for example, this one, it's not feeling like it has to be because, uh, for example, like this one, because it's just simple uh, box of light and this is not very good so uh, it's important to fast recreate all these moments because for, uh, you see this for example you are not seeing that I don't have textures on this one I have textures on this one but they are not very good because uh, this scene is pretty dark so textures are not so important right here but uh, lights they are important because uh, they are your main focal point So I will start to work from here then I want to work on here I only want nothing too complicated. I want to maybe create frame a little bit more interesting uh, add uh, rust pipes and of course uh, I want to add uh, concrete texture maybe with some moss or something like that uh, it's pretty sad that I can texture this one fully. I mean that uh, if you will take a look on concept, uh, I mean assets list, list uh, you can see that this asset is very very interesting. Wait a second. I remember he had special list. Yep. Yeah. Here. It's really cool interesting asset. Uh, you can see it has numbers, it has leaks, it has metal, uh, a lot of a lot of interesting moments but uh it's not important for us uh with this light we will not see anything at all so focusing to fully texture this one is not important for us right now i really want to recreate this fully but it will be wasting of time right now so reinforcement concrete just simple texture right now if we will have good lighting and enough time we can texture it uh, with full PBR pipeline, but not now. Uh, this is my second part of stream today, and uh, I think that it's pretty important to rework this part and create lights and uh, light and glass. I will just try to work on this one, and as you can see, this is just simple static mesh right now, except columns, and this is not very good. Also, we can move it, uh, we can play with position of this a little bit. Uh, it's right now here, maybe, oh, that's not good. Uh, maybe I will move it a little bit, I don't know, can't promise anything today. So that's, and I really like this one, how I textured. This is fully uh, spline mesh, spline mesh with a lot of uh, like constructor. Uh, you see I have meshes, uh, inside we don't see anything but uh, it's uh, something right there we can create different variations it's really cool and I really like this I have created this on a uh, previous stream Russian stream so if you want to see how I did it you can but you will not understand commentary sorry for that uh, well let's start to texture and I will start from this one and i understand that for example i know that my uh let's understand what dimension we need to recreate because uh because we need it wait a second uh one meter two meter uh, one meter two meter three meter four meters 
I think four meters long will be good enough. Uh, yeah, it's good enough. So it's about uh, half meter uh, height and length about maybe three. We'll look. So we will start. How to work on this one? We have two variations: uh, work with geometry or work with uh, simple alpha. And I think uh, alpha will be not good enough. So we will, we will, we will, we will free. Uh, this is only for understanding dimensions. I think something like. Okay, it will be something like that. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that it's possible to extract... Uh, I know that it's possible to create something like that with Illustrator, print something and uh, then just extract it. But I don't remember how to do this, so I will be pretty simple. Remake this with polygons. Uh, maybe we have clear... No, we don't have clean clean text we have to print it by ourselves mm, I will google it ah no no, I don't see anything good enough for So let's uh, just use uh, quad draw too. As I said, it's really bad variation how I want to do this. Uh, I'm sure that it's possible to use uh something more clever i will say but i don't know how and i'm not planning to google it right now so we'll just start from something like this and i'm sure that i saw something how was used not text uh if i remember splines or something like that but and of course this will be very 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 rough variation we need it only for understanding uh, good color and scale right now uh, I always can uh, modify it later. Um, if to do it with brains, <laughs> uh, first we need to try to find a right font, then print it uh, in Photoshop, I think, and then work. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's do this. I think it will be. Uh, more clever. Let's try to find font that is close enough because this is not very good. It's find it with our hands. Let's try. I'm not sure that this will work, but totally maybe. Uh, uh, and let's play with brightness. No. Contrast? Yes, contrast is good. And uh, let's... Uh, this one we will paint by our hands. Uh, 
and then use a font detector. Mm, let's save this. Mm, I think font to detect. Okay, and then go to Google. Google, 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 Google. Font detect. Uh, yes, in the uh, font detect. Online. Okay, great. Uh, choose font. Font to detect. Continue. Uh, he can't understand because of uh, great contest. Uh, let's help him and use something like that. With this, it will be much more easier to him to understand. I hate when I have something like this because not use full transparency. Okay. And let's scale it. Let's try again. Uh, choose file, font to detect, continue. Mm, yeah, he have problems, but I know how we can uh, still try this one. We can do this. If we will have only some letters, it will be much easier to him to understand where is letter and where is not. As you can see, it's not very simple. Why it still have this problem? Again, let's try. Something is wrong. F R O mm, No, 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 not enough. Not ever. Uh, let's do something like that. Maybe it will help him. If we will do something like that. I don't want to find it by myself. I'm too lazy. But as you can see, maybe it will, <laughs> it will be faster. Okay, maybe this was this was this will work. Um, okay, and let's do this one, this one, and something like that. I hope this will work better. I know that uh, my font is not 
very good painted by my hand but it's possible I, I hope that he will understand this font Okay, I think it will be better now. Yep, let's try this one. Go back, go back, upload, want to detect, continue. Please, 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 please. F R A O. Yep. Good day, guys. Uh, let's try. We can use this one. It's not. It's not bad. Uh, let's take a look. Yep, I like this one. Mm, this. Uh, it's very. Uh, it's not so uh, smooth, it's sharp, but with emissive it will be great. Uh, this one is good, but A is uh, not so good as this one. I really like uh, Venus. Do we have Venus? I don't know. It's... Uh, base font or not no it's not base uh, okay uh, we can use this one yes we will use this one I don't know I don't like this one because F is not good and there R is bad and here is the most close font to what I want uh, Is it possible to download? Ah, don't say I need to do it by my hands. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Give me a second. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's boring, but sorry guys, we need this font. Oh, or we can do, <laughs> it will be stupid, but we can do something like that, or so, so, so hard way to, okay, I will do something like, it was long way to do this. Uh, okay, now I can do and all this for just simple font. Because uh, it's not important that it's low, so low quality right now. I know that I'm bad guy right now, but 
I don't want to pay 45 bucks for this font. Um, M. Okay, pharma, we have A, pharma, C, uh, O, and then N. Uh, okay. And I can turn off this one. I can do something like, um, I think something like uh, that. And then place all this one. I think I need to, up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will answer you. Uh, because right now we are doing two interesting things. It's always hard to say where you will have uh, problems. Yeah, uh, because uh, before stream I thought it will be very easy and fast. To do something like that but as you can see it's not because uh, we want to match concept so if we will create another font it will be a strange a little bit mm. I think something like that Mm, okay, okay. Uh, then what we need to do, we need to do something like uh, that. Something like that. Okay, great. And save this. Uh, this is reference uh, Pharmacon. Hooray! We did it. Wasted only 20 minutes and of course I will delete this one. Uh, now we place VU, import image, uh, my computer, Maya, uh, the app station beyond, reference pharmacon and we can scale this one. We use of course wireframe unshaded, x-ray, scale this one. And now we better understand uh, what length we need. It's great. So it's played. Uh, and now, now I can use uh, quad draw tool. I need to delete all these uh, points. And very, very fast, I will try to match this font. Uh, then I will extrude, add bevels, and we will have a uh, feeling like original font. So right now it's the most important part to move quickly. We can't use too much polygons and can't use uh, too low polygons. Uh, of course, you can use something like decals uh, on this one and use alpha, but um, 
it's always uh, two dice two dice two side two side sword because uh, using transparency is not very cheap so maybe just maybe in this situation uh, using of uh, just polygons will be cheaper and easier than using transparency it require more time because if you have font uh, not like we uh, created maybe you have bought this font for 45 bucks and you can just paint mask in substance painter or in photoshop it's not important ah great polygon and then use it like alpha and of course it will be faster than recreate this in geometry but um, I like this feeling of volume, of volume if we will have real geometry so I will prefer to do what I'm doing right now uh, okay next one we will not recreate another uh, letter A we don't need it we can just copy um, I will fix uh, silhouette a little bit more when I have more polygons uh, when I will extrude and then I can work with volume a little bit more add more polygons and something like that right now it's not so important and as I said this is not the fast uh, way of creating things it's possible to extrude something like that but I just don't want I use this but I know this is possible to recreate this thing much more faster and maybe more accurate Oh, as I said, no A. Uh, this is this. I will check YouTube right now. Oh, welcome, guys, from YouTube. I don't, don't see any questions, but I see people's uh, good day or good evening. We have very, very interesting workflow of recreating letters with polygons in Maya. There are sometimes very interesting moments in modeling, then you just to just be calm and doing your job guys please ask something i need to, t to talk about anything because this is oh um yesterday i have bought a lesson from uh, team uh this lesson from uh chamfer zone about substance painter and today uh, take a look on it uh, great tutorial i want to watch uh, part of modeling today i just watched, it, uh, watched uh, texturing understood that i'm texturing not bad i understand all moments that he is doing but still I, I really like his tutors i'm still using his tutors as a guide for me sometimes uh, just uh as i mentioned not for uh do not forget something because uh sometimes it's possible to just just forget something and this is not very good if you will forget something 
for example, I don't know, use dust, dirt, and it's maybe sounds stupid, but when you have long texturing process, it's really easy to forget uh, something. So I still prefer to to take a look on his tutors b before texturing process. I have, as you see, I have problem with this one. Wait a second, I will just move this. Or maybe not move it. Um, I don't remember how to continue. It has to be something. Oh, quadruple. It's not very good what I'm doing right now, but I just don't see what I'm doing with this letter, so now I can move it. Uh, and I know that I need to connect this one with this one, uh, use bridge, bridge, bridge. And now we can fix these moments with polygons, just delete this one. Oh, that will work. Okay, uh, now what I want to do, I want to really fast and easy fix uh, I will show you and we need to well this will come back later uh, it's really easy and fast fix uh, I will use this one uh, straight line but we need to as you can see it's important here to use straight lines so I will just very very fast fix this moment uh, we can delete this one it's not important uh, and pharmacon going back uh, it's not very easy right now to look on this one so we need to use transparency uh, as i remember it has to be something like that yes uh okay here here mm, here i will add multicut okay Mm. Here it's not very not bad, not bad. Mm, this will work, and here, yes. Okay, now we can uh, extrude this one. Uh, then we need this letter A, extract, copy, and we have, we have it, great. Uh, then we need to create big, something like a uh, part of the circle, but for this I will of course use just a uh, torus. Uh, and with just uh, uh, no yes uh, and section radius much much slower here uh, increase section radius oh just radius we need something like Z I think with a little bit more just just simple uh, okay delete this one this one this one yeah I think this will work good enough okay and now just fill these holes 
Uh, wait a second, I need to check something. Okay, working, working, working. And we have this Parmacon right now, so combine this. And uh, race transformations, history, and something like that. So now, big question we want to battle this or not? Uh, well, let's bevel it. Because why not? We can, we can. So I will bevel it. Just one bevel. And nothing more, I think. And just. Okay, this, this is good. Okay, we have our Pharmacon. Uh, and then just export this one. Mm, two meshes. Uh, let's create folder texts. And this is Pharmacon. Pharmacon. This was a long way to create this one. Be too long in my opinion uh, and we go to content meshes uh, well simple yes simple props uh, and this will be fonts and I go to my folder and export again scale 100 and here is go Yeah, nice. And this guy come in here. Wait a second, I need to check what is writing to me. Ah, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing important. Uh, okay. Here is go. Uh, and place it a little bit here, maybe here, and move this one. Wait a second, I can't understand. Ah, oh, now I understand. Uh, disable notifications. Uh, yes, now I can continue. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. Uh, we just need to add uh, color to this one. And I know we need to add uh, Fresnel. Uh, I need to think how to add it. Uh, I don't remember how it uh, recreate properly. Uh, this is from one uh, great online tutorial about holograms and you can add uh, glowing on edges just with shader effect uh, i have saw a uh, youtube video and this will play great uh, i have used this on my doom scene uh, it was a uh, prepared stream for this uh, competition and it will play really nice uh, pom, pom, pom. Uh, we need our material. I will recreate another material later, but now we'll just use a uh, glow material. Yes, yes, this one. It has a uh, bad color, so we just duplicate uh, bright uh, green. Okay, and we need more greeny. And I think something like that. And oh, this is not right. I'll delete this one. It's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted no, not this material. I li yes, this is my material. I want a copy of this one. Duplicate uh, bright green 
uh, assign this one and let's play with color we need something more greeny and I think less opacity okay and that's it here yeah it's this is what we want uh, right now this is adaptive uh, shader so as you can see it's looking not very nice without any uh, back background so we need background we don't have it right now so we are going to our base let's save this one this is uh, a station beyond fonts and open uh, CMBM and we need hmm I don't know why I have exported without this part I don't see it oh ah, I understand this is right now another mesh this is why we don't see it well, I don't understand why we don't totally see it. Let's uh, give me a try. Maybe I have it with me. Meshes. And this is, has to be... Okay. This is block out house uh, B. And this has to be uh, house A. And give me a second. I will just uh, unblock this layer. Export this one. Uh, this is not full mesh, this is, uh, one second, yes, uh, phrase transformation and UV automatic, only for light maps. Export this one, uh, house A, block out, and we export this one in our scene. Uh, oh, where have saved it? Wait a second. G my at station beyond. G my at station beyond. Why well, I don't see it? Ah, meshes. And is this is here? Mm, I go here. Import. One hundred. Okay, and here's go. We need to move it to zero zero and now we can play with position of this one it has to be something like something like here yeah it just block out but take a look it's looking so much better now maybe uh, it's looking uh, we can scale it I'm sure about it we can scale it uh, at least uh, 1.25 and the, uh, reduce glow effect yep this is better and do something like that as I see on concept we don't see one part of the letter so it's good and then we will just uh, increase length of this part and what I want to do I want to play with uh, instance of this one this is bright green and it must be more greeny so Uh, no, uh, I think we will reduce intensity. I think something like that. Let's take a look. And yes, it's nice, totally nice. Uh, this is what I want. I want to check this one. And I want to place another copy on this one right here.
and another copy we will want hmm place it i think we will do something i know that is uh not required but i think it will be good to do something like that and now we have our pharmacon we can scale it maybe only for this one a little bit bigger and place it here yep uh, it's not so sharp as i wanted uh, maybe only for our camera we will do something like that only for our frame maybe this will look i can't say it's look better now and this is well it's not looking too strange too strange and i think it will be more logic if they will be on one level for example a little bit higher than bottom yeah a little bit a little bit not a little bit now a little bit higher uh, okay next step uh next step uh concrete okay uh, i will just push my substance painter and we have two ways uh cheap way and expensive way of work uh cheap way we will just uh, import concrete material on this one Let, let's take a look okay uh we will just take a look how simple concrete material will work on this one without changing anything for example if we will open uh uvs of this one oh it's totally bad not good enough so we need to re-export this one first of all we need to assign two materials because this is a uh, steel part and this is concrete part and we need two uvs uv uh, and i think because this is very very big mesh we will uv is something like and don't for, okay something like that only for good tileable effect and assign different material from this one as you can see this is tiled oh no it's bad too okay and this will be will have another material for example stone yes uh, and this one we need to unwrap it too uv automatic and we need to UV this this one. I use very very cheap and fast UV as you can see because this is only for a simple tileable material and later I will rework this uh, UVs of course but not so much. For example, I will show you where you will have a big problem uh, unlit. For example, uh, with this one, uh, if I will not uh, change, I will have leaks uh, not vertical but horizontal. I don't know where I have this bug. Mm. I don't have it right now. You see, it's looking not so bad okay um and now we need to re-export this one because we have done our part of job uh export selection and this will be meshes street and i don't remember a good proper name of this one uh, meshes materials meshes uh, street and this has name 
floor section floor section and we need some good tileable materials for this one i have a lot of uh steel in my scene already but i don't have simple concrete so again i go to maya i uh not open but we need new project i need project with a uh, simple plane and we will choose interesting concrete material we have two ways of work for example we can e just use concrete for example this one let's take a look and we can we have a lot of types how we can work for example you see this concrete material it's uh let's take a look how it will look on our asset uh brown concrete mm, and i will go to art station meshes complex uh street uh floor section as you can see we need this one uh, and I use floor section and we have to check how it will look with different tiles and you can see it's looking too bad uh, too big and if we will use scale for example 3 it's looking too tileable yes uh, so maybe 2 and still it's it's not looking good as you can see maybe just simple one will be good enough yes I think it's not very good i'm not very happy how it's looking uh but just for this scene for quick test this this can work so if i will have uh option i will rework this texture but right now we will use simple brown concrete with uh tiling one maybe oh five no too 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 big too rough uh okay then we need just simple plane for export these textures uh my uh, simple plane and we just import brown concrete we know that this will play export textures uh, unreal engine packed and we export this to maya station beyond textures styleable textures and this is just simple uh, damaged damage concrete i know then uh, that i can work much more on this concrete and create something interesting but oh uh, in one second i saw that i'm talking uh, i'm not talking that my microphone is muted and this will be very very sad um damage concrete uh package 2k okay and then export uh rma cancel export rma okay and now we can export this in unreal content textures uh my tiling concrete damage concrete damage and import this one here a station beyond textures concrete damage where are ah, tileable concrete damage our ah, base material normal error may okay and we can now create simple material uh we will create duplicate of this one duplicate and damage concrete let's open it and upload our textures from tileable textures my tiling uh concrete damage and we need this one we need to fix these textures to convert it to no masks uh, this is normal this is normal great uh, and we don't use up dust but we will use ambient or uh, dirt use dirt as vertex paint i don't think so it's not reasonable use scale one 
and upload normal texture and roughness okay and we can now assign this uh, to this uh, section but we need to re-import it uh, we go to M street floor section let's find it re-import uh, this was created on another computer how oh, he's asking where where is funding and we check it and you can see nothing changed but because we don't have too much lighting if we see unlit it's just gray uh, we need to open floor section and we can see two materials right now so we need to assign uh, this material instance damage 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 where is damage um, damage concrete yeah as you can see as I said, it's very rough, it's very fast and bad, but that would work right now. And for for metal frame, we'll use uh, metal that I have, simple rough metal frame. As you can see, not perfect, but, but that will work right now. It has metallic coin or not, I can't understand. So and as you can see it's better than nothing and we go to lead and we see that nothing changed too much because we just don't have enough lighting to understand all texture of this mom but we can see at least here uh, that's as i said uh very dark scene so a lot of moments uh not very important to rework so we have this pharmacon right now um, and what i wanted to do i wanted to start to work on this one this is a uh, block out house b i don't remember i have it with my with me yeah i have as you can see this is this mesh and we can see that uh, on concept we can rework this yes uh, or assign material or do something uh do with this and something do with this uh here we can place hmm uh interesting how to do this it's not so obvious uh and do this one maybe use opacity or translucency i mean um uh, i'm not sure this will be pretty expensive is uh, if I'm um, correctly understand how this is rendering and I'm not sure it will be a good idea. So okay, uh, sorry, disturbing. Uh, let's check how it's how it's to look. Okay. has to be here well let's try let's try to take a look how uh, just simple translucent uh, will look and if it's look good we can continue if not so we will not uh, and of course I want to create a uh, hmm, I, I have something bad about filling yeah, something is wrong uh, with scaling again. Something wrong with scaling. Let's take a look on concept. Mm. Concept, concept, concept. As you can see, it's something like that. I'm sure that uh, this building is here because uh, if we take a look, we can see this shop. Yes, and we can see these banners. So we have a banner, advertisement, banner, advertisement. And in one moment we have very big uh, windows. So it's filling uh, and no buildings from here. Have some, maybe this? No, 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 no. It's possible. Not even close. Or maybe... 
Hmm. Maybe I was wrong and this is this one. Because by proportions it is looking not so wrong. We have a uh, shop enter, yes. Let's take a look. Shop enter. Uh, yep, shop enter. Then for first level for advertisement. First level for advertisement. Uh, big windows. Yes, big windows. Advertisement. Big windows. So yes, I think I think this is one. Uh, I have building very very close to this one. This, as you can see, they are not so different. Uh, let's try at least uh, how this will look. How this will look. Um. Uh, I don't want just delete it, but I don't have choice too much. Mm. And we move this one with the columns. It's looking the sa same dimension. Yeah, yeah, they're really close to each other. Um, so you can see that uh, th this house is not grouped. Uh, if you saw my previous uh, and most I can delete this one. No, I can delete this one. Um, well, at least I will just move. I will just move this. I have not very good tileable mesh for this, and this was my mistake, I think, right now. Hmm, how close? Something like that. Again, I have bad problem, uh, big problem with uh, space, as you can see. So we'll just push this here. Uh, entrance of the shop taken almost all. Yep. Mm, this is close. Not. Not one hundred. Yeah, I need to rework this mesh. But this can work. Uh, and take a look. Uh, these windows have uh, has to be much more bigger, much, 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 much. And as you can see, we have to move all this a little bit because we have a collision right now. So we will move not so much, but here. And maybe here. Uh, I will take a look on uh, on concept. Mm. And really, I am not happy with what I see. I need to think. Sorry guys, I'm thinking right now mm. uh, how I need to place you. Mm, no. Maybe like this. I can do something like that. Uh, I have. Hmm. In this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's not very good that we have something like that. In this, um, 
position. We don't have any collisions. This is good. And we have feeling like on concept. I'm really, it's really important to me to have this feeling like on concept about dimension and something like that. Um, and uh, we have this, well, uh, metallic part, let's move it because this metallic uh, part has to be the same on different houses. Something like that. Okay, we have. Well, at least this is close to what I want. Or no? Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking. Well, this is our view this is our view we have to have no I don't like I don't like how it's looking right now it's too far and I think it has to be something like well, give me a chance. I think it has to be something like really close to this. Something like that. Mm. This has to be here, here, here. Okay. Uh, and if I will have uh, another height, it may be a play good. Oh, where is my music? Okay, let's think. As you can see, I'm just trying to understand what what I want. It's not uh, so simple. When you are talking about position of mesh, uh, this has to be something like that. And uh, we can use this because it can be here something like that mm, not bad uh, for example let's play situation human is here and oh and on concept we have human here so we can compare height of a, of a human we have a car here, with, which is, uh, ah, let's reduce its height, just for uh, concept. And we have human here, I think. Mm, it's looking nice, about... It's, and we have this uh, intersection, and this is totally bad. If I will place you here, it will be better or not. We have we, now we don't have this intersection. We have intersection with just one. It's it's not important. We can move it a little bit. Nothing more. Yes, something like that. So this is start of the building. And uh, in my opinion, we still have this feeling of concept okay this this is okay uh maybe move 
this part a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, uh, this will work at least. Uh, not maybe too perfect, but it's, it's close enough. Uh, so let's try to understand. Uh, so if we will take a look on concept, um, and we can count that uh, uh, this house has this metal part at little a little bit uh, higher so not here but here it's strange a little bit um, I think something like that uh, this is not very Bit big difference. It's something like more something like this uh, on concept. Why I have so strange metallic? I can't understand because at least I have metallic or not. Uh, wait a second. Buffer realization metallic. Hmm. It's metallic, but it's not feeling like metallic. Never mind. Ah, because I don't have a uh, reflect capture. Mm, of course, I need reflection capture, sphere reflection capture. I have one. Oh, take a just look on this. It's plain so funny. It's really, it's really interesting. How it's playing. Whoa. No, I don't ha I want this, but I want something like that here. Yeah, because I need, I need something to increase lighting. And I want another. Oh, don't go so. And I want one more lighting reflection here. Yeah, it's much, much better now. Mm, okay, let's continue. Mm, <laughs> First of all, uh, this shop entrance ha have to be a little bit higher than shop and it's not right now so we understand that we need to do something like that and maybe like that this is i think it has to be something like that no. And it's bigger than shop. It's okay. Uh, okay. This China moment going here. And this is total. And it's uh -huh, a little bit pushed. Okay. Mm -hmm, nice. Uh, human is looking a little bit small right now. Maybe he's going here. Well, at least we can push our house a little bit further. Yeah, it's I know it's looking boring uh, tweaking options. Uh, here and there, but sorry, it's important part. One of the most important part. Because uh, if this part will be done uh, bad, you will just need a rework all scene. And this is not nice. Just believe me, I have done it. Uh -huh. I don't know. I want to push it 
well at least uh, let's recreate height I know that my floor is about uh, if I remember correctly three and half meters one two three four five six seven yes uh seven so if we will take a look on concept we can understand that uh this part with glass and steel have to be at least six meters i think six meters and right now it's not as i remember let's recreate very very fast tool uh, this is bad i was hoping that this building is placing here but no mm, let's recreate just just simple block uh, that has to be a six meter high and about eight meters six meter height and eight meters length mm, no seven I think Two and half, two and half, two and half, uh, meters. If it is seen, that is it's половine. No, it's logical. Uh, okay, uh, this will be our part of uh, first floor, and it's has to be something like it's just block out mesh right now, nothing more. I just want to understand how it has to look because I'm not understanding right now so experiments a lot of experiments right now and something like that Is it feeling like on concept? Well, close enough. And something wrong. Wrong. This. Okay, something like that, I think. It's very, very, very rough and not very good, but we need to understand scaling. Just nothing more. Mm, yeah, I think this will be nice. And I will just extrude... This is glass, for example. This is first part. And glass has to be a little bit bigger than this. I think something like that. For understand scan and nothing more. Uh, and we need to delete. And this, and then uh, 
and let's export this as uh, I don't remember what it will be what meshes uh, window win window F then window F mm, go to Unreal and we will change in this mesh we now know that we have uh, one length how many seven 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 hundred seven hundred and uh, internal component what is this we need to import our mesh mm. this is a house windows type ef and let's import meshes window window f 100 okay it has incorrect shading it's okay and we change this one to this one and let's delete all of this and we know that we will have uh, only two of them before metallic component okay and then very close to what I want we have metallic component hmm, maybe this is right scaling and let's check uh, on concept I will move it here I will I will move it very small but it will be here just you to understand how I think on this moment um, I am looking on this uh, you see that uh, from our point of view uh, car human human a little bit small uh, this part is a little big a little bit bigger than I want so if I will move it uh, here it will uh, go in bigger and bigger but if we will uh, move there it will be smaller and smaller but we have to move it here yes uh, in left side this is how I think how I uh, analyze the concept uh, analyzing perspective so I can uh, move it only here yes but I'm I'm still can play with position of the shop uh, from this point of perspective uh, I see that for example I can well you understand what I want to say so uh, this is uh, average position so then we will have uh, some free space then we have this advertisement and it has to be something like that so as you see yeah uh, then we have uh, oh sorry something again wrong uh, let's take a look yeah shop must be something like that and it's uh, you see it's much more smaller than it's right now so we have to move shop shop a little bit back we don't need these columns I think something like that I see uh, that this has to be uh, uh, lower you 
this has to be lower too. This is going lower. This is going here. This has to be something like here and this has to be something like here. As you can see, I know that this position is pretty correct. So let's analyze. Uh, we still have space here. Yes. Yes, we have space for one window, but this is not enough. It's better. Uh, well, at least we need to do something like here. Yes. Mm. I still want to move it here or maybe here. We have position for uh, glass part, it's great. So we can uh, play with this and recreate this. Then we have uh, glass again. Yes. Let's try to understand. Uh, glass, block, yes, glass. Maybe this is a little bit big. Reduce it a little bit. I'm just uh, blo blocking out right now, so it's just moving here and there, just to understand. No, it has to be here. Um, glass, we have it, yes. And uh, advertisement. Not so bad. Uh, let's check uh, intersections we have intersection it's not very good so there are two ways uh, that possible or uh, one way that uh, maybe this mesh don't have intersection at all because it don't have this part so um, movement or something like that or we can move it uh, far, uh, further 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 we will move this back I think better to say that. Um, let's check how it look. Something like... I don't like how many free space we have right now. But uh, this feeling of concept of space uh, is better with this position. For example, well, position of meshes is much better right now. So, windows, um, Oh, I'm trying to make this, to scale this one. Oh, uh, one problem that I didn't, that this uh, glow part uh, have to be a part of the windows. So it has to be something like that. And that means that I have to push it again. Uh, and this part have to be here, yes? Yes, and it has to be this size. I know it's pretty stupid to move for uh, just move meshes, but I said this is important to me. Maybe for you it's easier and not so important, but for me it's not very easy to understand where meshes have have to be i always spent a lot of time was on something like this if i will just move ah it can be here <laughs> we'll have small intersection it has to be background of our column at least yes at least it has to be something here forget to take this part it 
too much. This can be. We have intersection. Well, we are close, but maybe we don't have intersection. Yes, we are close to beam, but uh, there are no such important intersections. So maybe it's possible that this is has to be here. But we have problem with this moment. Yes. And sometimes you have to understand that uh, you can't repeat uh, some moments. That was created in concept, so this is nice. This is nice, I think. Yes, mm. not height enough. I don't like. Well, maybe this is right. Oh, I have forgot one of my. Great. Mm. Yesterday. And maybe it's not so pushed. Ah, I can't understand. I'm doing something wrong, but I don't see what I'm doing wrong right now. Hmm. I don't like when a situation like here, like this. But I understand that I'm doing something wrong with space, or maybe I have to stop and... Well, at least I think we'll stop our translation today. I don't know, there are not so many guys today, so you will see this on YouTube. So thank for watching and good night.